Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back in Fullcraft today. This is going to be an interesting day for me with this. I'm going to start to work on the sky base. But first I want to tell you that I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the server. It's been lagging a lot and I'm not sure why. So I might have some uh, more crashes. I hope not, um, but we'll see. So anyway, if you're liking these videos, Fullcraft, please let me know because uh, I know I've been a little bit uh, doing less videos at the moment and that's okay. But um, if, if you are really continuing to like these videos, I'll keep making them. So please let me know. Um, you can do that by doing clicking the like button. That really helps a lot. You can also put in comments. Comments help a, a great deal too. To let me know some ideas and things what to do. This whole idea of creating a sky base is from comments. So, And also please, if you're just visiting, um, please subscribe. <laughs> that would be very helpful. Subscribing... Um, helps my numbers with YouTube and that sort of thing. And it just helps me to continue on. And makes me feel good that I'm doing a good thing here. So, yeah. Okay, so what I intend to do after talking with some people and figuring out what, what the sky base will be, um, most people have set some sort of flying saucer. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to do that. I'm thinking a flying saucer, large, that has um, various like floors or decks or what have you on it. So I want to start it actually at level 170, and we are currently right here at 156. So I'm going to go up to 170. Okay. And right here, this next block will be the center. I'm going to leave it as a dirt block just so that we have it. Okay, now we're at level 170. Now, the first circle, since I said it's kind of like a flying saucer, I want the circle to be 55 blocks. So I'm going to go off in each direction approximately, what would that be, 55 divided by 2, hmm, let's see, 25 and 25 is 50, right, so 27 each way, so that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to use these iron blocks that I've um, chiseled, or not chiseled, but I've uh, used a chisel on it. This was about as plain as you can get, and I want plain so I can add more detail later. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to make this circle, so first thing, Let's make the, the cross pattern of going 27 each way so I have the actual layout. The layout of the crisscross section is done. This should be 55 blocks each way. Now I'm going to use a circle generator that you can find online and you can put it that parameters in to tell what kind of a diameter you have and what have you. And then it you can start to do this. So I'm going to see if I can get this to look like a curve circle all the way around, okay? So let me try to see if I can get this perimeter done. And this may take me a little bit. So let's see here. If I do this starting from right here, it looks like I need to go, not counting the center, five blocks. So, and it goes in one and then it goes four. Like that, there's four blocks there. In one and four more. Okay. Then it looks like there's two threes. And a whole bunch of twos. Now I'm going to skip the twos because I can go over here and I should be able to do the same thing I did here. So five more. Two fours. And two threes. And now it should just be able to connect up with twos. I don't see any difference in it whatsoever. So now it's just a matter of doing... Oop, not there. Basic pattern like this. And there we have a curve. That's what it has to do. So I have to do that all the way around. Let me go do that and make sure that this looks right. Everything worked out great. We have a circle that is a 55 block diameter. And the dirt block right there is the center. So now what I can use is the wand. And wands will be very useful for this type of build because now I can just go up and start just wanding, filling in the floor. Just like that. Of course, it's taking the blocks from my inventory, but it's filling in the way I want it to. So this will be great. Then I'll do the other corners, and then we'll have a flat surface. There we have the floor of the lower uh, level or deck or whatever you want to call it. Now, I want this to be three high in interior. Okay, so we have three high here. One, two, three. So the next one I'm going to put up here, another disc I'm going to make. 
will be right here. Now I want it to be slightly bigger, so I'm gonna go with, this was 55, I'm gonna go with 57, okay? Just, you know, another block more, basically. So we're gonna do that now. So off of this one, we're gonna come off of it. And like I said, just one block more, and there we go. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make the pattern, the, the, the cross, and then do the circle, okay? Let's see how that looks. So the upper ring here is done. Now I have to do the fill in with the wand. And I know it's gonna be spawning mobs down here. That's something I need to think about. Maybe I should torch this up first. Um, probably I should. Let me uh, do that. I'll torch this up and then I'll lay up the top layer. So at least we don't have any mobs spawning. This might take me a little bit. Two layers done. Looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna have to torch up this layer and I wanna do one more. And you can see I'm gonna have like a slight slant going on this side. And that's what I'm kind of looking for. A little slant on the outside here. But I need to make another layer and then we'll make our base out of this uh, flying saucer thing. So let me make another layer. Same thing as I've been doing. I'm not gonna bore you with it, but I'm gonna just gonna do the same thing. All right, we have three circles, filled in circles, which basically makes two spaces here where we can put things, okay? Um, I haven't torched out the top. I, I don't know if I will do that or not, but we have the basic structure. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat some lunch here in just a second. This took a little longer than I thought. But after lunch, I'm gonna come back and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in walls. Now, eventually some of these walls will have windows or uh, ways to look out, but I wanna have some walls going up, okay? So that's the next step. We're gonna get that all done. So for the edge walls, uh, I'm gonna use this basalt I'm going to do them in strips, but I want to basically put it on top of the blocks that I have on the bottom layer here. I'll put them right here. But I also want to put them on the underside here. Okay? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this basalt. I have so much of this basalt I wanted to use it in something, and this gives it like another, like another darker color that we can have. So I'm going to do that. Probably going to have to retorch some of this. That's okay. Well, we're gonna go all the way around here and we're gonna just make it look, well, nicer. <laughs> so that's it, that's about it. Um, so my subscriber count has kind of uh, flattened out uh, as far as new ones. For about a month, I was just getting like, you know, five subscribers a day, which was phenomenal. But last for last week, I've only gotten a couple, so. If you know anybody, anybody at all, who would really like to see full craft, who would like to see some of the, the uh, Minecraft that I'm doing, um, please let them know. Send them the links, you know. Maybe have them watch uh, one of my streams that I do. We have a lot of fun on the streams. Just, uh, you know, whatever you can do to help out, that'd be great. Um, it's, I'm trying to keep this, uh, keep this going. I don't want to, uh, to fail at being a YouTuber. So I'm just keeping on plugging away here. So we're just going, like I said, all the way around and then we'll do the upper block and we'll make these layers. I haven't put any windows in yet or anything, but this will be something pretty nice, I think, when we get done with this. It'll give us a nice uh, change of color, so to speak, when we uh, see it, okay? So let me get this finished and uh, we'll be back. It's looking a lot closer to what I expect. I always have this other ring here and this ring here to fill in. Before I do that, I want to make some elevator blocks so that we can get up and into this system once we have it enclosed. So let's make up some elevator blocks. Now we have a lot of different blocks and I could probably use a different color. So I'm going to probably, let's see, let's pick a good one here. Let's pick up a brown. No, let's do the red elevator. We don't have enough of the uh, wool there. So let's see, how much wool do we have anyway? Looks like we're gonna have to do white because we don't have a lot of the others. So let's make up elevator blocks. Okay. Looks like we only have enough for three. That's fine though. Um, so we can work with that. Let's see. Okay, grab that again. Now we gotta find the block here. Right where we're standing, right where this torch is. We're gonna put in the block. So let's shovel this out. I'll put another torch down here so it's not too dark. And put one right here. 
Let me get up in here. There we go. Put another torch down. Don't want that light there. So we should be able to go down now. There we go. Okay, and we'll do one more here. Good, so we can get inside. That's excellent. So now two of these go down. Can't go any further down. Okay, so now what else do I want to do? Well, I want to fill in those rings there. And that's going to take more of that iron. I'm going to put the basalt back. Not throw it on the ground. There we go. So now if we go back to the iron, we have a bunch of these blocks, but I'm going to need a lot more of that. So we're going to make some more iron blocks. And we're running low on iron, but that's okay, because I can always get more with the chickens. You know, we've got tons of chickens. Let's do a few more. Okay. And now I'm just going to chisel those up like I have been, which is basically going up here and selecting this block here, which is uh, just a regular block of iron. I'm going through the list. And then I'm going to fill that in. So let me go and do this, and I'll fill in that last little lip between the two decks, and then we'll be uh, good to go. All righty. So the upper deck is done. You can see everything looks really good in here. It's all lit up. We'll be making lots of improvements to the interior here. But now if I go down to the uh, lower deck, or level, you can see it's got the same kind of thing. So let's go outside and take a look. We're going to fly out a little bit. And there's what I've built. Doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like a little bit of a flying saucer in a way. Um, it's not the right scale that I wanted, but it'll work. But you can see it's all there. Now, I can put in windows and that sort of thing, and I plan on doing that. I'm not sure when I'll do that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next with this. I'm, like I said, I'm just planning it out. Of course, it snows on top, and we want to get rid of that, so I don't know how we're going to do that either. So I've got some more thinking to do with this, so we'll have to figure this out. Um, but for now, this is uh, all I've done with this part of the base. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? Put some comments in the comment section. I think I'm going to put in the windows right now. I have here, you can see this is the one of the center lines. It goes all the way over to our elevator, which is right in the center. Okay, I'm on the lower deck right now. And what I want to do is I want to put in some windows here. So I want the center line, this center line not to be touched. But I would like to make these blocks there be glass. Maybe we'll go three or four, maybe at least three. Okay, this is just me experimenting a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So we'll get rid of nine blocks. Let's see if we can sleep. I worry about monsters on the top of the whole entire structure. Don't want any creepers blowing up, so. Okay, let's see how that looks there. Okay. So we have some windows there, and we could probably do one more window. Maybe make four of them. Now see, it's gonna be right around this curve, which will be a little bit more difficult. We wanna make them three wide. So if we do that, basically any block that I take out, I really should replace with glass, is what I'm getting at. So if that one, and these two, and probably this one. Okay, so it's kind of difficult. But not too bad. Just got to make sure you replace what's there because those are part of the actual circles and give it its shape. So if you replace them, you need to make sure you get it right. Do the same thing over here. So it was these two. Okay. I believe there's four here. One, two, three, four. There, 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 and there. And finally up here. Okay. That looks not too bad. I, I was thinking we could do that on all of the various uh, edges. Let me go see what that looks like outside. Because we're going over this side here. That doesn't look too bad. Um, 
you can imagine doing that on the upper deck too. I kind of like the look of that. Let me go and uh, do this for all of the decks and, and uh, each place, and we'll see how this looks after we get done. But I'm thinking this is looking pretty cool. The upper deck, all the glasses in for the windows. Go down to the lower deck, same thing. All the windows are in. Let's go see how it looks outside. Though. That's where it's kind of critical. Here we go. That looks pretty cool. I like how you can see in. You can also see out. It's a nice uh, sky uh, base. The little uh, temporary dirt thing will have to go soon. But we've got a lot of space in here. Um, I really want to make some sort of corridors. I don't know if I'm going to do that today, but I want to make some corridors or make some design for some corridors. Um, yeah. Make some corridors look really cool. And then we can start making rooms and making compartments and uh, things in this. So this is what I've got so far for a sky base. I really like it. Um, be nice to be able to get up here. I wonder I mean, if I had some more wool and I've got string, I can make wool. What am I thinking? Um, take string, right? So let's find a string. It's that. There we go. Why didn't I do it in the first place? Okay, now we're good. It's a little laggy. We're getting there. Elevator blocks. I just need two more of these. Okay, let's go all the way up. Let's get that last one right there. Okay, so our coordinate right now is 567 minus 28. So I'm going to go all the way down. Because you got to have a way to get out. So, five sixty seven minus twenty eight is right here. So put a block there. We'll take us all the way up. We will see. Here we go. You ready? And there's a way to get in from right here. So let's put down some torches around it. Uh, wait, torches would probably melt it, but let's see. Hopefully not. Doesn't matter. We'll see. Anyway, there we are. We have a place to get in and out from the ground level if we ever need to. Yeah, it's going to melt it. Um, let me just put a little bit more space. <laughs> it's melting it for me. <laughs> it's great. I just want to make sure that I have it so that we can get in. So let's just kill this here. I'm not sure the range, but we'll just uh, put like a little platform out of basalt. That'll look pretty good. And that way, we have a nice little like landing pad where we can get in and out of the base. Um, I wanted to go underneath that. I can go underneath it here. Make sure we get underneath it. There we go. Almost done. A little tedious, but we got it. And there we have it. Little pet pads. So we can get up to the uh, platform. You walk in here and we're up on the platform. We'll one more time, we're up inside of the lower deck. One more time, we are in the upper deck. It's awful dark here. And then one more time, we're up on the top deck. Or I should say the top surface. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do about the snow. I don't want there to be snow. I might have to just start putting down torches like that so that there's nothing in range of these that'll uh, cause the snow to be there. Well, let me torch this up for a little bit and we'll see how this looks. Well, no more snow on the top. I made a lot of torches. A lot of torches. And I filled it all out. Everything looks good there. So we are good to go as far as that. No more snow. And this is what it looks like now so far. We have our little windows. We have our rings, a two couple of decks here. It looks pretty cool. I like where it's going. Um, we have at least some structure. have a place that's um, fairly secure. And now I can start to work on the interior and making some things out of this. So 
I think that's going to be it for now. That'll be all the stuff we'll do in the next video. So, yes, if you uh, like this video, please click that like button. I'm interested to see how uh, how you like it. I know it's a little bit different than a lot of full craft. Um, so, you know, leave me any comments. See, uh, tell me what you think. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, that'd be great. I really appreciate subscribers. Um, that's helping me out a lot, too. Just make sure you press the little bell icon so that you'll get the notifications when I post anything. So until next time, I am Tinker77. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.